Alright, let's go ahead and get Marksman going so we can try to get uh, a crit. Does it take out Jigglypuff? Oh, definitely. I'm okay with this. And a crit! Beautiful! Jigglypuff goes down here. Alright, so... Sky Drop, of course. Ooh, nice. Oh, and you miss! Haha, <laughs> pathetic. You pathetic fuck. You think you can fuck me? Fuck you! Yeah, this is not my, uh... This is not my tea party to sit at. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the fire spin here. This is not my tea to drink, basically what I was trying to say. That would have been so much cooler if I said that on the spot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sit right here. Get me some health back, bitches. Charizard has done nothing. Nothing at all. Shackle. We're going to get the for sure hit, but, you know, oh, crit. Jagged Edge is going to do some good damage to us, though. I hope you brought Burn Hill. Alright, that's cool. You missed again. How trash. Alright, dude, you can go ahead and pull off to the side. You don't have to die today. Charizard, your chance to do something in this battle. Get that flamethrower! What's up with that? Down that thing goes. Now, right here, don't be a fucking worthless piece of shit. Get the hit. Thank you. And you even got a crit out of it. Look at you. See what happens when you try? <laughs> Celebrate all you want. Oh, Pikachu needs one more thing? That sucks. Well, not necessarily. Get that save file there. We'll go ahead and get some damage off in here. Let's go ahead and do this one. Everyone but the two girl warriors, of course. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. I mean, it doesn't matter. They both do the same thing. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and join everyone over here. We're going to get some kills now. Or as Chicken Will would like to say, Sheesh! Oh, that thing's dead. Diode! You good? Hmm. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and keep on trucking here. A few more kills and we'll be out of this. Everybody getting kills right now. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Alright, mud slap time. Damn right. Woo! That did a good amount of damage right there. Tell you what. Boom. Next mud slap's gonna kill. Diamond. Yeah, dumbass. You said hardest rock. Even I said diamond. Yeah, diamond. Good. That's the most expensive rock. Titanium's not a rock. It's a metal. <laughs> Bro, you dumb. Here we go. My brother's a retard. What's the hardest rock? Titanium. <laughs> what planet has the most gravity? Jupiter. No. It's the biggest planet, so it has the most gravity. <laughs> Bro, you special kind of stupid, ain't you? Yeah, right, Eddie? That's what I'm saying. Last I checked, that was a metal, not a rock. <laughs> Got him, coach. Oh, man. My brother cannot answer a question to save his life. Yeah, your skin's an organ. And I've been drinking. All right, here we go. Whew. I like that, Eddie. How about you ask me random questions, see if I can answer them. <laughs> what is it? What's the question?
Neo. Wrong, Mercury. Why does this Earth revolve around the Sun? Because of the Sun's gravitational pull on the solar system? I think. Pretty sure that's right. Makes sense. So now, why were heels technically invented? That's a good question. Why were heels invented? Um, to get to the other side? I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea why heels were invented. So I need to move these two out of here. Which King Louis loved the arts? Fuck, that's a question. Are you going to give me the answers to these questions? If I get them wrong or right? Uh, let's see. Oh, I was going to say 14. Ah! <laughs> I didn't answer quick enough, I guess. Oh, you don't know about the hill question? Oh, you're just asking random fucking questions. That works, too. At that point, no one's wrong. Alright, so I need to give Pikachu... A thunder show now. So shit, equip. He has a harmony drum. All right, take that back. Do I have a thunderstone? I hope so. Yes, I do. Woohoo! Give him a harmony drum because he needs it. Which part of the body did King Louis the Fourteenth love the most? The stomach? Why do you know about King Louis? <laughs> I'm gonna assume the stomach. Oh, his calf. Oh, about his body. I thought you just said the body. Alright, we need to get some kills here. Brr. Imagine this big beast coming at you. Yeah, Chandelure, we're gonna keep you out of the line of fire. No pun intended. Psych! Pun intended! We're going to bring you this way. Going to have to take a massive rock tomb. Or a rock slide, I mean. Because you took dance and technically credited the foundation of what we know as ballet now. Interesting. You learn something new every day. That, that explains why he likes the calf, though. Especially a ballet dancer's calf. They got to be fucking... They stand on their tippy toes all fucking day. 
man the the way they dance with their feet dude i can't believe like it's just so mesmerizing i could just stand on their tippy toe and actually i don't even think if they're standing on their tippy toe i think they're just standing on like their knuckles of their toes but i don't know how they put all that weight on their curled toes it's insane man at least to me because i just don't understand how they can do all that And I've seen it done. So it's just like, wow, that's impressive. I don't care who you are, that's impressive. That makes sense. Ooh, critical hit, baby. Let's go. He was a rather weird individual. Which one was the king that made people lay down because when they gave birth because he wanted to see the birthing process? It turned him on or something? That shit's just weird. But, you know. Uh, 2021, you can't king shame anymore. But I believe he's the guy that, did th that started that. <clears throat> My wife gets angry about it all the time. I forget who, who it was. She's like, that's disgusting. And then she talks about having a natural birth and stuff. So it's just like, ah, I don't know, man. They do it in the movies all the time. You think they would have changed it? Yeah, it was King Louis the 14th. He invented the reclined childbirth position. He fathered 22 children. That's fucking insane, dude. 22 children? Imagine the child support he had. If he left his wife anyway. Alright. You going down. That's it. Pissing me off. That man was a machine just pumping out them kids. Oh, he lived on one? That's ass. They have sturdy or some shit? Oh, that one has sturdy. Alright. You're going down. Four times effective. You think that would have took it down? You think his last wife had him killed, or maybe it was the other way around? I don't know. On the thing, it said he retired, like, after so many years. I don't know. Maybe that's what it meant. He got retired. She said, fuck that dude. Oh, shit. If he didn't produce kids, that bitch was gone? That's a yikes. He was like, kids or be gone. That's it. He just wanted to watch them birth them. That's weird. <sighs> it was a different time. It was a different time. They didn't have porn back then. They got to do something. Oh yeah, Pikachu come get this kill dude, I know you need the EXP, I know you need it. Celebrate good time, come on, let's celebrate, gonna have a good time tonight, celebrating. Her boot tight. What?
Oh, hey, two blink. Come attack this fool. Alrighty, I'll go ahead and check that out. <laughs> Dude, those pictures look funny, but yeah, he he likes his calves, man. He likes them very much. He dressed kind of weird, man. I don't know. I wouldn't be his friend. His style is uh, not my style. That's for sure. Yo. Yeah, you need that kill. Oh, wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. You need that kill. Well, you're not gonna get the kill. Uh, just get the damage, I guess. Oh, yeah, I, I can see that. You gotta, gotta show off the money. Just in, like Shrek in that second movie. It was the second movie, right? He dressed up all weird and he had to go get King Arthur to take a spot or some shit. I don't know, man. <laughs> You're like, dude, we're talking about royalty and you fucking bring up Shrek? Yeah. That's the royalty I know. Ah, fuck. That Pikachu still doesn't want to evolve, man. Dude, you just need to hit 60%. That was it. Alright. It's okay. We're almost there. Well, at least Pikachu evolves itself. That way we can uh, register the other one. The first and second movies were great. The third one was okay. Fourth one was eh. And now they're coming out with the fifth one. So it's like, uh, don't ruin it even worse. But you know, there's going to be people who are just happy Shrek movies are out. Um, it didn't evolve on its own. It's because, uh, I gave it a Thunderstone. Yeah, a fifth movie. They're, they're coming out with the fifth one. But Raichu doesn't evolve on its own. You gotta get it to uh, evolve. You gotta win a battle with it holding a Thunderstone. And uh, that's what we did. I was hoping it gets to level 60 uh, or Link 60. So I could at least have double, you know. Double evolution, like the trainer evolution as well. Get up. Um, here we go. Let's go ahead and get these guys linked up a little bit. Because we're almost there. He needs to be at 65. He needs 3 more percent. He needs 10 more percent. Jesus freaking Christ. He just needs 1 more percent. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get that 1 more right now. All right, here we go. Let's just hold back. Now, let's go this way. And you're not going to get a kill in here because you, your attack move sucks. And uh, here we go. Cub Chew's coming off the bench. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. All dressed up to go away. Alright, here we go. Brave bird time. Get that kill. One kill down. One more kill. I think it'll get double the, double the evolution. I mean, double the linkage it could get. Then it'll actually level up and link. Wow, that flamethrower did nothing to the Leyron. 
Uh, I guess it is part rock type, but you know, I was hoping to do a little bit more. All right, so Laron decides to go for our weakest link at the moment because of our defense drop. But we do drop its attack this turn. And we'll go ahead and take this thing out. Well, not out, but you know, we'll take it down a notch. And um, hopefully we don't kill the bug in the back. <laughs> and we definitely will. So let's just go ahead and give it a mighty blow and see how much damage we can actually do to this Laron. Five oh seven on the Venipede. All right, so another Iron Head comes off here. Oh, and it gets to flinch. That's not good for us at all. So we at least get it to that position there. Shackle twelve. Critical hit. Beautiful. Um, Marksman, let's go ahead and get another critical hit. Can you be quiet back there, please? Thank you. Alright. Almost there on the damage that we need. Oh, god dang. Well, I don't know if it's going to evolve now that it died. Fuck. Stupid shit. I hate that. I hate that so much. Alright, here we go. <sighs> One HP, really? That's ass. Not even and titties, just ass. You know what? Kill it. Kill it with fire. Down it goes. Aw, oh, 59. Everyone's at 59. That's stupid. What the hell? Why does he have a gabite? It's not even 100% link. What are you doing? Alright, so they're definitely going to get attacked next turn. Um, we pretty much take out the rest of the armies. Because everyone that we need to evolve is pretty much there. Except for those two kids right there. They're going to take still a minute. Um, okay, let's do this. What do you got in here? Alright, cool. Not too easy. Let's go ahead and send these two here. Go ahead and hopefully get a quick evolution there with the Abra. It's already high enough in level as it is. Alright, there we go, and you sit there. Average pretty much pointless at this moment. So we're going to go in superpower now. Take that thing out with no problem at all. Just wait there. And then I think uh, once Abra evolves into Kadabra, we could take it to the next. We could take it to the Venom place and get it evolved there into Alakazam. 
And then that should be enough to evolve the uh, warrior as well. So we'll just have to see.